Ah, look at this beautiful display here. Uh, some hors d'oeuvres that we're uh, showing you. Right now, what we're gonna do though is we're sort of cooking with cheese, right? Yes, cheese is the main are. ingredient. Yes. Joining us is Jill Proudfoot. And you have a, a unique product because, tell us about it and why is it so unique? Well, our product is artisan goat cheese. My uncle owns the farm. His name's Delbert Colder. We're out of Wauseon, Ohio. And it's, it's called Turkey Foot Creek Creamery. Our website is turkeyfootcreek.com. And the neat thing is, is that he started this about a year ago. Um, the cheese is so special because those who are allergic to cow's milk or lactose intolerant can have goat products. Oh. It is the closest milk to human milk. So it's, it's, it's pretty pretty neat. And we're showing a little bit there. So those are two products. What are we seeing, those two products? Well, right now we make three different types of cheeses. We make an aged Gouda, which is what you see up here. Mm -hmm. It takes about three months to age, and then that can be aged uh, more than 18 months. The longer you age a Gouda, the sharper it gets and the crumbly. It's Gouda. Yes, it gets kind of crumbly. Gouda, now this Gouda. Gouda is very soft and creamy um, because it's only aged three months. The other product we have are our curds right here. Now the curds are uh, fresh cheese. The minute they are made in our cheese vat, they are ready to eat. We mm -hmm. salt them a little bit. And they're actually, the original name of them is called squeaky curds mm -hmm. because if you let them set out for about an hour at room temperature, they start to squeak when you eat them. <laughs> they <And> scream. So, <laughs> it's, it's kind of... <laughs> the shrieking cheese. So it's kind of interesting. Like, huh? And then the other type of cheese we have over here, this is called chev. And chev is a French word for goat, goat cheese. And our chef is wonderful because it can be used to replace sour cream or cream cheese and it's healthier and it's just it's just wonderful and it can be used as spreads. In, in different recipes. All right, yes. so let's we've got a couple of different things here to make. So let's let's put a few things together. Okay. We always like to show people when we have a, a product, how do you use it? Yes. And you know, you guys are the best people to show us the, the you know, the people that own it and make it can tell you how to use it the best possible way, which is another reason why you go to farmers markets. The farmers know yes. here's how to eat this product and it's it's kind of funny because I am actually not a chef and for all of you busy moms or dads mm -hmm. out there these are just perfect recipes um right now we're focusing on gardens right so and you put a little bit of olive oil into I put the pan a, a little olive oil um is what I'm, this is called garden fresh stir fry and so you want to take um, the vegetables from your garden. I chose to pick zucchini and some squash. Now you want to make sure that... Be very careful. It's yes. so easy to cut yourself on TV. And everybody... I'm just saying, just be slow. Everybody in my family knows that I cut myself a lot. Right, I don't need TV so, to do it, but don't exactly. just slow down. <laughs> slow down, okay. So, so I picked some zucchini and some squash. and. If your garden turned out this year, mm -hmm. which most people's did, they're didn't, doing well, I think. That some some people's did it with the lack of rain. But this is this is called Garden Fresh Stir Fry. All right, I want you to do stop right now. Yeah. Bend your knuckles like that. Yeah. Well, point them this way. No, your fingers. Oh, okay. No, watch me. Okay, I'm gonna watch you. Can't you can't cut yourself if you pull <gasps> your knuckles oh, back I see like this. That. Okay. See, I told you I'm not a. You're chef. gonna be on this a million different things. I just <laughs> don't want you to start bleeding. <laughs> I told you there. I'm not okay, a chef, you're good. but this okay. is so easy. Now, a lot of times we take four strips of bacon mm -hmm. and we cook them beforehand. I chose just to use a little bit of olive oil. And we're going to put these cucumbers in here. In your hot pan? In our hot pan okay. at medium temperature. All right, you keep going, keep talking. And we're going to cut these veggies about, about mm -hmm. a half an inch thick. We don't want to cut them too thin just because when we cook them, we don't want them to be too small and we don't want them to get soggy. Okay. That would not be no, we don't very want good. Soggy. And you know, remember, this is a stir fry, so I'm going to need to continually stir this. I don't want anything to okay. burn up here. So we're gonna go. we're gonna stir this up. It smells so good, doesn't it? It really does. Well I'm that's the smell of oil. We love, that. <laughs> we love the smell of oil. Okay. So we got some of our veggies cut up. I'm gonna cut up a few mushrooms. I washed these beforehand. You wanna use about, about four mushrooms, fresh mushrooms. And are you getting nervous? Uh, you're, you are scaring me a little bit, but that's <laughs> just the way it goes. Yeah. Okay, so you added a little mushroom, a little and mushroom. that's 
just, you don't have to do the whole thing, but just make sure we get an idea of all your ingredients and that you are know, going in there. We're, we're going to add in a little bit. We're going to add some tomatoes mm -hmm. and some, oh, i got to put these onions in. We, oh, now that's going to bring people. The minute you add yes. onions and we put it in the pan, people come from all over the place to see oh, what we're making. Oh, it smells so good. One time I just sauteed onions in here for just a commercial. We weren't, yeah. and I, there were 15 people, what are you making? That really does it. I love right? it. Smell. And then we're going to put some, our four strips of bacon that we previously had cooked. And you know, I just don't have my bacon fat with me today, but I prefer the bacon fat to because stick. it's so tasty. Absolutely. So that's what you would prefer so to do. So we just stir that up a little bit. And when you think that it's getting a little cooked through, we don't want it to be mushy, no lid on it. We'd, we want it to be kind of crisp. And then at that point, we're just going to put some, about two tomatoes diced up in with this. Now this is important because now we're getting to, thank you, now we're getting to the cheese part. And look at so this good. beautiful cheese. Look at that. We're going to let that cook just for, just for a little bit and we're going to cut a piece of our Gouda off here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to shred some Gouda over the top. Gouda, Gouda, Gouda goes in there, Ooh, baby. Oh, it's so mm. delicious. I haven't used a shredder in a while though, so <laughs> we're going to have to... And our Gouda has a food approved um, wax over the edge and that, that wax is edible or you can take the wax off. I choose to take the wax off just because I want to get the full flavor of the cheese. I'm eating a piece of it just right now. Isn't is that so okay? Good? It is so good. Isn't it? It's so creamy. I'm like feeling her ingredients. The neat thing mm -hmm. about Turkey Foot Creek Creamery is that all of our cheeses are made right there on our farm. We are the only farm in Northwest Ohio that has our own goats uses our own milk um, and then makes cheese out of that. So it's really neat and it's really neat to uh, meet some of the local people coming in and interested about this. Okay, so, so you, you continue with that. If you take a look at this, this is pretty much done. You're going to take it off the heat mm -hmm. and you're just going to let that cheese melt in there for a little bit. Okay. If you want the cheese to melt a little faster, you can just put a lid on top. Okay. You don't want the so, And do you serve it just long. like that or do you? Yes. I love it. And it's so easy. Look at that. And just veggies from your garden and a little and beautiful. fresh Gouda. It looks, it looks Gouda. It <laughs> I know. I love it. I, I love had it. to say that one time. I love cheesy stuff. Okay. So, so let's talk about some of these other things. This is obviously a nice savory side dish yes. or instead of a, it looks really good. Okay. Talk about some other things real quick. We got well, about two minutes. I know it's Moving on to staff. our next cheese. This is the chef. And the chef can be used in so many things. And okay, is what I do, I take a plain vanilla, or a plain chef, and I add about, um, about a half a teaspoon of vanilla in with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna guesstimate. And is that what's on these strawberries? It is. Strawberries I, and a little bit of cocoa little, that you put on there. A little bit of, yep, shaved chocolate. Mm -hmm. And I use sugar in the raw because it gives the cheese a crunchiness when you put it on top of fruit. It's so delicious. And is what, hold the phone. That is so is good. It's good and it's so healthy for you. Oh, good, because that means that, I'm having another one. That sugar is pure sugar. <laughs> and we try at Turkey Foot. Just talk. I'm going to have like okay, a moment. I've eaten these a lot before. They're so good. <laughs> so, the th neat thing about us is that everything is all natural. There are no chemicals, no hormones in any of this cheese. We test it all before okay. we even make a batch. Now so this, on this, tell us what, you've got a piece of pineapple? Yes, we used um, fresh cut pineapple. And then you've got your mixture again, your sweet exactly. mixture. Exactly, and then I took a little, coconut. little bit of, I didn't use vanilla in this. We have at our at our creamery, Pineapple Chef. We use organic pineapple in it. We it plop is. about a, a tablespoon on top of the pineapple with a cherry and we've put coconut shavings on top. And you gave so me all these three recipes so that I can share with everyone. We'll also share your website so that they know how to get this particular, do you ship your product at all? We do, we do. Okay, so that's important if you really want to use the exact ingredients we're using. If you're in Wauseon area, of course, they're placed to get it, but this is the way to do this it. This is very important. Okay, um, I don't know if we have time. Do we have time to fry this up? Probably not. Okay, well, is what you do, you take about, uh, about a cup of beer, any kind you choose, and you're gonna mix a cup of flour with a little bit of garlic uh -huh. powder, mix it all together, and you're gonna dunk these awesome curds. Awesome, you know what? You're gonna fry We're it. gonna do that off camera. <laughs> And I'm going to okay. put that online also so that you know how to make, I mean, beer, beer fried battery, cheese. It's curd. like, there's nothing that you don't like about that sentence. We've got all this on our website, 13abc.com, including Veronica's Closet uh, Creations.
13bc.com uh, slash full plate and Rebecca Rainier's full plate on Facebook so that you can get all these recipes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Awesome. All right, I'm going to try one of these. Yeah, isn't it good? I got to try one too.